So once this is done, then if you're working with CV 3D, what you would do is to start building a corridor model for, uh, for the roundabout. So if you need to deliver your projects uh, in the CV 3D file format or if you would like to uh, cut some cross sections out of it, then that's the best way. This video is fairly longer, so I'm going to advance it a little bit, but uh, this just shows you basically the CV 3D process how you can design, how you can put together a roundabout corridor uh, starting from uh, a torus export. So I'm just going to advance it a little bit. Basically you need to uh, you need to work with separate assemblies and then you need to work with, uh, with various targets in the roundabout and with various regions. So once I'm, um, I'm just going to quickly advance it to the stage where uh, we actually see something. So I have built uh, like half of a quadrant of the roundabout. As you see, there is some little holes. So uh, these issues you can just quickly resolve in CV3D. And this is how a CV 3D corridor looks like uh, when you when you use a torus uh, export to start with. So after this, uh, when you design your roundabout in CV 3D, uh, then the advantage is, is that if you go back to torus and you adjust uh, the torus grading model. Here I'm doing some uh, very exaggerated adjustments just for the sake of, uh, of, of a good understanding. When you do that, then um, the CV3D corridor as well as the top surface will be automatically updated. So you only need to, to link these, these two components once and after that you can just easily design with torus uh, Torus's design tools are pretty easy to use and then your CV3D roundabout will, uh, will react to it.